Hey guys, before I start this video, I just wanted to say thank you to Pause to Pencil for shouting me out on their channel. I am trying to reach 200. <laughs> I cannot speak. I am trying to reach 200 subscribers by Christmas, and they gave me a friendly little shout out. So help them reach 200 as well. They are really talented, and they just have realistic art. It's great. Anyway, let's get down to the video. Last month, I decided to enter a giveaway, and. Um, I actually ended up winning. It made me really happy because first off, it was um, from my favorite YouTube artist. Well, I have a lot of favorite YouTube artists, but she's the one who inspired me to start art journaling, Berber Von Gorp. I'm sorry if I pronounced her name wrong, but anyway. Another thing I was excited about was I did not expect to win that giveaway. I usually don't have luck in that. <laughs> and also, well, Artes is a great brand, you have to admit that. But. Anyway, because I was really happy and thankful for receiving these things, I decided to do a little fun video using these paints and doing a video the, um, that Berber Von Gorp does and just take some inspiration from that and add my own spin on it. Along with art journaling, this artist has also started to paint on some canvas boards. Um, yeah, wooden canvas boards, sorry. and. Just, she decorates them in a way that she would decorate an art journal page, and I just find that really interesting and really creative. Now, while I have painted on some wooden boards before, I just never thought about um, just decorating it and painting it in the style I would if I were doing it on a journal page, and I just find that really beautiful. Since I do martial arts, I have broken a lot of boards in my uh, years of doing it. And I just never knew what to do with them. I could paint on them, but I just, I don't know. I just preferred painting on canvases, actual canvases, and preferring, preferring, and I preferred painting on paper. But looking at her videos now, I just think those are the perfect things to use. And just, I, I just decided to go along with that for my video. The first thing I did was use some white acrylic and paint over the board. I decided to do this because just with prior experiences and um, when I painted my sketchbook, it just, I could still see through it. And I decided not to do a very thick layer, just enough that if I were to use craft paint on top of it, I would not have to keep layering and layering. And it worked, so we all know what I'm going to be doing in my future now. <laughs> In the previous scenes of the video, I'm sure you guys noticed that I was looking through a bunch of paint swatch cards, and the reason why I was doing this was because I was trying to decide on a color scheme for this art piece. And after a bit of thinking, I decided to go along with green. And the reason why I decided to do so was that um, the more I think about it, the more I realize that I, I don't really do a lot of pieces where green is the main focus focused color, I guess. And even looking back, I don't think I've done too many pages um, in my art journal that have a green color scheme. So I decided to give it a little love and go along with those colors. I chose three different shades of green. I chose a paler green and I decided to mix in some silver paint with it. And then I had a kind of lighter, not a lime, but a lighter green. I decided to mix in some gold paint with it, and then I had the really dark green. I noticed fairly quick though that um, as I was painting, the dark green just wasn't showing up really well for some reason, so I did actually eventually end up using acrylic paint instead of craft paint. And of course, to top off that iridescent and shininess, I used the iridescent paint. I don't remember what the color was, but it was the green one. I've got to admit, I am really proud of the background. I had so much fun painting it, and I just kind of went for it. I didn't have a particular image in mind, I just kind of did some strokes, and then I decided to do more strokes in the opposite direction. But I, I just think the overall end result was really pretty. When I added in the dark green, I actually wasn't sure if it was going to end up looking well, but the more shades that I added, the better it just seemed to get. And 
In the end, I just was really, really happy with the result, and I was actually afraid to start adding stuff onto the panel, just because I just loved the background so much. I guess I'll have to do that again sometime. And just the more colors I added, the better it seemed to get. When I finally got to Arteza's iridescent paint and added it on top, it was just the perfect, perfect thing to do. I don't know, I just thought it really highlighted the colors well, and it just kind of completed the look in a way. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking for just a little bit so you can enjoy the video, and I will take a short painting break and come back in a little bit. If you do want to check out Berber Von Gorp's channel, I will link that in the description box down below. I will also link the video of the giveaway and I will just, just to show you guys um, where I got my inspiration from for this video. As I was getting closer to finishing the background, I just kind of found a little, uh, I just kind of found it to be a little too green. I knew I was, um, trying to give green a little love but I was just wondering if it would look too overwhelming so what I ended up doing was I used some of the gold paint and I layered some of it on top of the background and I think that did a really good job as well but then again maybe it's just because I love glitter and metallic colors I don't know <laughs> when I was done adding in that last gold touch I decided to finally glue on that green swatch card. I used some craft glue, I think that's what it's called. It's a lot stronger than regular glue, but anyway, I used some glue and then I stuck it onto the canvas. Um, as I looked at the canvas, it just seemed a bit, I don't know, it just seemed to interrupt or just a look a little misplaced, that's the word. So what I decided to do was I used some more paint and almost let it creep onto the paint swatch card. And by doing so, I think I made it look a little less misplaced and more like I was meaning to place it there and like it wasn't just some accident, if you know what I mean. But anyway... The next thing I decided to do was add a little bit of the ribbon that I had found in my cup and then afterwards I decided to get some white acrylic paint just to make it a little less green. I just think with that much green it just looked almost like it blended together so I wanted to add a little bit of contrast and make it stand out I guess you know what I mean. <laughs> since I did need to place some things in the background and since it was really green I decided to pull out one of the plants that I had. Um, a long time ago I decided to press some plants and they've just been waiting there for a while for me to use them and I finally had a chance to use one. I just think it was a really good touch and I just think it really drew attention to itself but in a good way. The next thing I decided to use was some stickers I had and then I painted on the quote nature is beauty because that's what it is. And using some of my extra paint I decided to add a little bit of splatters just to give it that little last artsy touch of mine. After that I actually did have to go to martial arts which was really good because it gave this piece some time to dry. So then afterwards when I got home it was completely dry and then I decided to use a very thin layer of Mod Podge just to seal it. And the reason why I did a thin layer was just because I wasn't sure how it would affect the plant and the ribbon. I wasn't I didn't want it to bubble up. But yeah. 
I did need it to steal the paint, but since I did want the iridescent paint to stand out, um, I didn't do a super thick layer. The good thing about applying Mod Podge is that it can seal the paint and make it slightly a bit more archival until it starts to fade to a different color over time. And it also kept the stickers from peeling up because when I applied them, um, the paint wasn't just com the paint wasn't completely dry yet, so they were um, peeling up at the edges a bit. So by applying the Mod Podge, it um, let them ma sorry made them lay flat, and it also helped the plant stick on better. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this pretty relaxed video. Um, I just wanted to do something fun. I just hadn't painted in a while. I've been really busy drawing, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next video. Bye, guys.